Hello guys, today I'm gonna talk about a tool that some of you have asked me to review. It's called Afor AI. Now, it's not your classic AI tool that, you know, a classic AI companion that you just use, like a lot of them are these days, but rather it's a tool that is very good for research. So if you are into, you know, your research course in college, your professor, or you're just a person that needs to cite sources better, then I believe you might want to try it out for AI. So they have thoroughly improved since the last time. Right now, they even have a comparison to tools like uh, Zotero that is also used for research. Now, let's take a look at what they have. They have a better, much more comprehensive library. You can now upload a file, upload a URL, or upload a DOI. DOIs are for like uh, research papers, like you know, complex research papers. And uh, as you can see, they said they're trusted by researchers from the best institutions. So it's a good tool. They now have their Afro AI notebook that you can use so you can like highlight certain parts of your PDF so that you can always go back to reference it, which is pretty nice. You can cite a lot of sources. So they have like, you can go over this, over 10,000 plus uh, citation styles across multiple languages. So if you go back to like citationstyles.org, you see it right here. So this is where people come in here and, you know, cite like in different ways right here. You can get from Bibliograph, Fidel Schreider, Icelandora. These are the ones I'm used to. Primo, Kerko. So it's a pretty good tool and uh, pretty comprehensive. You can annotate your files using uh, different styles. Same thing I just said with the notes. And you can also share your research papers with your peers. And now they also have a multiple document format supported. So DOI, URL, PDF, Docs, TXT, MDAN, EPUB, and uh, PowerPoint. So I don't want to waste you guys time. Let me just show you guys it's all okay. Now this is the library right here. So I uploaded two files and it's two PDF files that I got from New Patel's training website. And you guys can always go over and check out Neil Patel's site. He's an awesome person. And you can come in here and communicate with it. So let's just go over there and click on Research Assistant. And right here, you, as you can see, there isn't Azure GPT. And you can have Document Retrieval, Semantic Scholar. So this is one where you get like uh, peer-reviewed research papers. Then Google Search or No Tool. So No Tool right there, it will, it will just use whatever Afro AI has. And from whatever documents you have, then give you uh, its own answers to it. And then right here, you can have your own custom API right here. So right now they have Azure and they have a cloud. And if you come over here to custom, you can always add it in here. You have to upgrade to their plans, their own professional plans for you to do it. And by the way, you uh, have a coupon code for you guys so you can get 10% off for it. It's in the description below. Now, so I already have my documents uploaded. So let me just ask it a quick question. Let me uncheck everything and only check no tool. Okay, so no tool is the one I'll use. So let me see. What is the best? What is the best Instagram hashtag strategy? Tag. And let me send it. And so right now it's pretty much giving me an answer directly from its own tool because as i told you guys no tool so i don't want it to pull out from the pdf file that i uploaded in my library so it just give me all they say use a mix of hashtag volumes great hashtag says monitor performance now if i then go ahead and i only want from the document itself and i give it the same question let's go to the bottom so now it, it it's pulling directly from the document itself now if i wanted to add to do the semantic scholar if I go over to Semantic Scholar and also Google Search, and I give it the same question, or let me just do Semantic Scholar only for now. Go over to Semantic Scholar. As you guys can see, it actually gives me citations, just like I told you guys. It's actually pulling from different sources. Irani et al. 2021, different ones right here. And you can actually see the Scholar results. If I just click on it, you'll be able to see it. So it's showing the references it's getting it from. I can always go ahead and uh, view them. So let's just see, let me view the first one. You see it right here, bibliography, irony, and you can also visit the site. It says an analysis of Instagram posts and genealogy. This one right here, the alternative media in 
promoting things like that digital communications and you can always go view the actual source so it's pretty good for research now let's go back and use try it for a google search okay and let me give it that so it's gonna get, have a mix of both the, the document itself and then obviously a google search query okay as you guys can see right here it also cites the sources here and this source is lead over to the blog post so it gets it from different sources all over the internet just so you guys so that you can always use this as reference points and it also links directly to it so it's pretty good and if you click on right here you'll be able to see the data sources that's why this tool is awesome and for AI I have to give you guys a thumbs up like for real you guys have done an excellent job with this tool so it's pretty beautiful now let's go over here to the library and let's say right now I have the PDF files like I told you guys and let's say you want to upload a DOI if I just click on upload DOI if you guys don't know what DOI is typically for a lot of research papers there's also ISBN I and mean, if you know any books you would have probably heard of ISBN before so let me just go over here I have a research paper pulled up for from current neuropharmacology right here and I have the DOI so this is a DOI right here I'm just gonna copy this and just make sure it's accurate and just copy it and then I'm gonna go over and go back okay I'm gonna go back over here and then I'm just gonna put this in here and click on upload so it's gonna find the PDF okay and then it's gonna upload it here pretty soon let's see 24 percent right here I just wait for it okay and this is the file itself it's already uploaded the DOI file as you can see indexed yes let me just click on it right here and you can see right here citation is it gets the um, author and everything notes you can actually open up your notebook and try it out and then you can actually view the file right here okay this is the file now you can come in here and you know try out their notes as you can see Afro AI notebook so let's say I take this text highlight and I can highlight this one right here and you obviously can always change the color to whatever you want so I can I have, right now I have it at red I can make it uh, green we'll come over here and if you want to delete the the highlighted part you just right click and then you just hold right here and it takes out the highlighted part and let's say I just want to highlight this green and right now it's highlighted let's say I want to highlight this part green I'm just gonna click on this pencil icon and right now it's highlighted and you can always download it you know the PDF copy whatever you want to do so make sure you guys go ahead and uh, you know try out Afro AI if you're into research and as I said I have a coupon code to it so if you guys try out my link use the coupon code you get 10% off which is pretty awesome and also you guys let me know what else you guys want me to review and I really appreciate you guys make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you share this video 